In this video, we're brewing geisha coffee. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. In this video, we're gonna follow up on what we did last week. Last week, we introduced our limited box featuring two different geishas from the Geisha Village Farm in Ethiopia. And we promised you guys some more brewing insights in terms of how we're brewing these different lots. So one of the interesting thing here is that it's actually literally the same varietal farmed from the same area of the farm, but then processed in two very different ways naturals and anaerobic. Now moving forward in this video, I'm gonna reference them as lot 40 and at lot E15 as the two different kind of separated lots we're brewing. If you want more info on them, then go and watch our latest video. We have all the info about the farms, the processing, the roasting, and so on and so on. This is just a deep dive into the actual brewing. Now, for those of you that watched the last video, you're gonna notice that I referenced a brewing recipe just quickly in the video. Now, we've been spending more time with these coffees over the last few days, therefore we have slightly better and updated recipes. So this is gonna come out a bit differently. Don't worry, it's just because brewing is about learning, becoming better, and we simply know how to brew these coffees better. So, we're just gonna start brewing. Now, we're using this ceramic April Brewer with the April Brewer paper filters for a generation that's gonna be available basically when this video is up and running on our website. Pre-wetting the filters. Now, we're gonna brew these coffees in two different temperatures, two different doses, two different grind sizes, and I'm gonna walk you through each brew as we do it. So the first brew is gonna be the E15, so the anaerobic lot. And we're dosing that at 13 grams. And I'm gonna pour that at 92 degrees Celsius. Now the grind size here is about one full step on the ditting coarser than what we're gonna be on the e lot 40. But the pouring structure is gonna be more or less identical. Now, we're grinding coarser because we're dosing quite a lot more coffee. So it's a 13 gram dose to 200 grams of water. As I said, it's at 92 degrees Celsius. And the total hardness of the water sits at 69. Again, keep in mind that water always differs depending on where you are. And a total hardness can mean something else somewhere else. So we can't look too much at that. So we're doing two simple pours the way we usually do it with the April Brewer. That means 100 grams and 100 grams. And those intervals and times are actually identical on both pours. Now with the second brew, which then would be lot 40, we're dosing 11 grams of coffee. This is a full natural. And we're using a brewing temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. Now the grind size here is finer than on the anaerobic lot. The reason for this is because we're dosing less. Now why are we dosing less? Well, we're dosing less so we can extract more. This natural has a beautiful complexity and a lot of layers in terms of taste. So what we wanna do is make sure that all of that really shines through in the cup. And then we want just a slightly higher extraction. So what we're aiming for is similar TDSs on both cups, but we're gonna get different extractions because of how we're dosing, basically. Now the difference in temperatures highlights slightly different things. The reason why we're working with 90 degrees on the natural is because it's such a sweet coffee as it is. It's packed with this kind of ripe, peach flavor notes. So we don't need more sweetness out of it. The E15 is a lot more floral, is a bit more acidic. It has this kind of tropical yellow character to it. So we wanna bring out just a bit more sweetness to balance out that acidity and having a slightly higher water temperature is gonna help you do that. So that's part of why the water temperature is different. Now, what we're looking for in terms of brew time on both brews is to basically finish just around three minutes, plus minus 10 seconds. 
So in our experience, what's gonna happen is that the anaerobic is gonna draw down a bit slower. The natural is gonna need a tiny bit more time. Basically, that's more or less because we have a finer grind size. So that will force it to just go through a tiny bit slower. But we're gonna wait for these coffees to draw down. We're gonna do a bunch of measurements, we're gonna do some tastings, and then we'll get right back to you guys with a bit of results and, and thoughts on what we actually have in terms of taste notes in the actual cups. So we're back after doing some measurements, doing some tastings. What's so interesting here again is that we do have the same varietal farmed in the same place, just processed in different ways, right? And these cups have such a different expression when it comes to the different taste profiles, which is really interesting. Now, for those of you that want to geek out a bit more in terms of target TDSs, we're looking for somewhere between 1.25 and 1.3. In terms of taste, what we're gonna expect in both of these cups is basically for the anaerobic or the E15, we have a very yellow cup profile in terms of taste. We're talking pineapple, we're talking mango. We're also getting a little bit of a rose hip and florality vibe to it, which is really interesting, but overall very kind of sticky tropical sweetness, but in a clean and refined way. And when we're looking at lot 40, what we have here is more of a, traditional geisha, we have a lot of florality, we have a lot of these kind of peachy notes, but also some kind of red ripe fruit, a hint of strawberry, definitely more red in the profile than what we have on the anaerobic. So it's two really interesting expressions of basically the same coffee and how important the processing is, which we know if reference back to the previous video, also has a big impact on how we ended up roasting this coffee and now also how we end up brewing this coffee as well, right? So with that, we wanna thank you guys for watching and we wanna hear your opinions on this coffee. Do you have the limited box? Have you tried this coffee recently? Maybe you tried some other lots from Geisha Village from the new crop. We'd love to hear your opinions and your thoughts on it. As always, if you wanna have a more in-depth discussion, that's what we do on Patreon, so make sure you sign up. Don't forget to subscribe to these videos and again, Thank you for watching and have a great day. We wanna give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you wanna see because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.